Hey, what's up? This is Jeremy Jones, and I'm here at the Rail Gardens in Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> Rail Gardens in snowboarding has been, you know, kind of a proving grounds of sorts, really. Like, it's kind of hollowed ground to some extent. It's been here for 25 years. So rich history here. Um, every generation since has been warming up for the streets here. They want to clip up here, so they'll come here and start, you know, doing the double line gap to see what they can size up on that. And a lot of people out of town show up, and you know, you, you put down the pros line. For this season, the city decided to put up signs and not allow snowboarding, skiing. Um, skateboarding in the park. So that really put a damper on the street kids and anyone wanting to come to Rail Gardens and visit. Like I said, the past 25 years, we've kind of had access to this. Although the closure of Rail Gardens kind of hits and it hurts, you know, big shout out and a big thank you to Salt Lake City for allowing us the 25 years of riding here. So with the closure of the rail gardens this season, we saw a really good opportunity to replicate and hopefully recreate that vibe and that energy that the rail gardens produces. It's been so rad to see the crew up here. They've been crushing it the last few weeks. We went down to the rail gardens, specked them out, put our Woodward touch on them, and Rory, a special shout out, mimicked these things, in my opinion, to perfection. We'll have the double line, the gap to rail, which we've converted to a DFD, and also a fresh take or two on some of the other features that the Rail Gardens has to offer. So we hope you'll join us this spring. Get yourself a little taste of the Rail Garden Revival right here at Woodward Park City.